What's up everyone? I haven't heard from you in a while, but I'm here in Kleinmont on a little surfing mission and I've decided to go herping today. I just turned up the first herp of the day, which is this tiny little hatchling Ocelotito gecko. Yeah, these guys are really prone to dropping their tails, so I'm not going to handle them too much. I'm just going to pop them right back under his rock. Okay, so we just found our second herp of the day. Um, yeah, we're quite a lot higher up the mountain, as you can hear by my out of breathness. And uh, yeah, so this is an adult Achidactylus geki, also a Tiktor gecko, same as the one we just found earlier. And this is a much nicer looking specimen though. As you can see, they have those beautiful spots they're running across their whole body, and they often have regenerated tails, but this one doesn't. So that's actually a really pretty one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pop him back under his rock and get going. So I was actually just over there on an adjacent ridge line the other day, um, and I got very, very little. Um, came out, spent about two hours with the rocks, and we found two brevy steps and no more gels. So yeah, I think this area has been poached pretty bad with plants. So crazy looking knives and other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna head back over there where I've had more success in the past and hopefully um, get into some snakes. Um, yeah, still nothing since that last little pachydactylus. So I just flipped a little mountain rain frog here, Breviceps montanus, and um, yeah, I really thought that I was rolling and I thought I got the flip clip, which was pretty sick, but it turns out I didn't. So let's just pull this little guy out here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That is the first decent herp of the day. This is a, actually a really, really pretty one. This is a solid little, um, maybe a, an A tier, B tier, high B, I think, because they're the most common breviceps, but yeah. Pretty, I'm gonna clean them off and grab a couple stills and then we'll be on our way. So have a go at this. This is definitely the best looking Montanus I've ever seen. Um, I mean, if you woke me up in the middle of the night and said, hey, look at this, I would say, yo, it's an Amaquensis. Um, yeah, and this area is sort of a bit tough because um, Rosie Eye and Montanus actually cohabitat the same environment. Um, so this might be a Rosie Eye, I can't quite tell. But I will find out and I will put the name in the corner of the screen. But yeah, back to taking some photos. So yeah, before we let him go, I thought I'd just give you a look at his belly. Super cool coloration, but yeah, got some cool photos of this little guy, so I'm just gonna pop him back under his rock and get back to him. Yeah. A lot of habitat still. So, if you have a look here, actually, I just flipped a lifer. This is a raucous toadlet, well, hardly a toadlet, more like just a sub adult. Um, you can tell it's a raucous toad just because it doesn't look like a western leopard toad. <laughs> yeah, western leopard toad of this size, oh no, would have a lot more sort of yellow on it, whereas this one you can see has got sort of the typical rusty mark, jeez, cut this pot out, has got the typical sort of rusty markings, but it doesn't have, um, it's technically a lifer, it's a really common species that I've actually seen before, before I started herping, so I'm not gonna spend some time photographing, I'm actually gonna look for um, a large individual, but yeah, that's a cool unexpected find that we're definitely stoked with, nice. So here's a look at this really good sized female raucous toad. Um, as you can see, they're quite large when they're fully grown, and I believe this one's gravid just based on how thick she is. Um, but yeah, that is super cool. Yeah, you can tell it's a female just because its little chin is clean and its little arms are, front arms are quite small. The males generally have much thicker arms for use during amplexus. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean this girl off, grab a photo or two, and then I'm going to pop her back. Yeah, so here's just one last look at this large female raucous toad. Um, yeah, as you can see, really, really good sized frogs. Definitely the largest in the area. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So we just flipped another um, amphibian. This is Strongylopus grey eye, um, the uh, clicking stream frog. Super common, so I'm not gonna bother digging him out. Um, yeah, let's hope that we break three of the amphibians and start getting into some more reptiles, because I've only gotten one in hand so far today. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you know, keep moving down the hill, hope to get into some snakes and some cool lizards, maybe some skinks, um, yeah, we have a lot of habitat still to cover. So here's just yet another raucous toad, um, 
I don't have much to say about these guys, so I'm just gonna pop it back under a rock now. So after a long time, finally got something else good. Um, it's just a very buried little breviceps montanus. their grumpy little faces when they're covered in dirt and they're just woken up but yeah this is not quite as pretty as the first one we saw but it's still a very sorry sorry bud i'm just trying to get a look at your face it's still a very cute good looking little frog um yeah they have that nice little streak down the eye very similar to the brevi center rosy eye which is sometimes confused with this species but rosy eye you normally get much closer to the coast um, and at lower elevations so in this area they do cohabitate because these montanas are found so low, like you can see them pretty close to the ocean at about 80 meters of elevation. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop this guy back. Seen enough of them today and in the past couple of days, I'm not gonna stop and bother him to take some photos. But yeah, cool, that is Breviceps montanus number two of the day. All right, so I finally turned up another reptile. Um, it is absolutely minute. soon. So we have got no snakes the whole day and we finally got our first snake. So this is a little spotted grass snake. It's actually eaten recently so I'm gonna just let it do its thing. I'm not gonna try handle it. Go on, find another rock under. This here, this is really nice. This is a romping egg eater. Actually, oh dear, the same one I found recently. So that's, yeah, just a Roman gay eater. Cool. Alright, so it's been a long time since the last time I spoke to you guys. Got a double flip of snakes just now, but there were two snakes I'd seen previously um, under the same rock. So, pop a photo on the screen, but as you can see, I've got a really feisty little lizard here. This is a um, <laughs> Cape Skink attack in Lepus Capensis. And he is trying his best to get a bite on me. Um, I'll just try, just re get a bit of a better grip on him. Oh god. Okay, well, I dropped him. <laughs> Give me a little fella. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I'm this is chill. There we go. Um, these are really, really little guys. Really common, so I'm not going to spend too much time. Alright, so this is the third type of skink we've got in a row now. This is the Cape Legless skink or Acontius miliagris. Um, yeah, I've seen a ton of these guys. It's nothing too special here, but cool to see one add to the species list for today. Cool, so I'm just gonna pop them back under the rock that I found them on, and you can see how they how they make their, their way through the soil. Okay, he's not cooperating. No. Go in your hole, in the hole, in the hole, yes. Go in the hole. Okay, well, this dude isn't doing the best job right now. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put the rock back gently and try not to squish him to death. So, if you've ever been up the west coast, you know this sort of thing is funny. Cars up there. But yeah, I've moved to a little fire break. And we're just going through some bits of rubble. Great yet, got a couple skinks as you've seen. Let's do a little stronger look recording. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, okay, well, this isn't looking too good. Well, I'm on the west coast, I'll tell you that much. Well, of course that happened. I stopped recording and the first thing I flipped is this beautiful, big, and a second adult female um, raucous toad. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, easy. This one's much more attractive than, than the, the previous one. Um, but yeah, found a couple of these already today. Don't know much to say. I was over there.